Minecraft, a bit of grass there. My name is Twitchy and welcome to my server, where for the past little while we have been working on this mech up here and I've got to say it is looking tasty, tasty, particularly with the shaders I am running today. Just seeing how it runs, seeing if I like the idea of it. Uh, I tried loading up a whole bunch of like fancy texture packs and stuff, but I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I do, however like the shadows brought by the offset sun. Though it does play havoc with the name tags here, but I'm kind of okay. This is Corporal Cabbage here, and we've got Captain Scrubber up in there. I can't remember what name we gave him now. Let's go and have a look. Uh, these guys we caught on a stream uh, just, just yesterday, in fact. Uh, and we had a great time, but it turns out, ow, as you can see, it's a little bit more awkward getting into this particular mech than was originally envisaged. How about if I just run at it? No, okay, let's... Which, which, which block is it? It's this block here. I'm super worried about letting them out. Cap Sap, that's what we called this guy, Captain Sapper. Um, all, all names suggested on stream yesterday. We've actually got four up in the mech over there. Those guys are unnamed, though, uh, because when we were putting them up there, we uh, we found out whether they were people that could be persistent. Yeah, they're people, they're pigmen. You're going to argue with me about that? Come on, man, it's 2019, get over it. Uh, yeah, so we got some pigmen up there, um, and when we were putting ha hats on them to see whether they would pick up stuff, because uh, that's the way that we uh, we did it. Um, it turned out that those guys, when they got under glass, broke their hats because of the awesome power of the sun. Which is crazy. Which is crazy. Oh, also, let me know. Shaders, yay or nay? I, I, I don't know. I, it's kind of... It's all right when I'm walking around and talking and doing a little... Uh, little tour like this, if you will. But for adventuring, it gets a little much. I mean, like, watch, watch this. Look at that. Ah. And, like, if I'm coming back into the overworld, it is absolutely blinding. For some reason, not coming into the nether. I have no idea. Right, anyway, after all that talking, we're actually going to go to Forrest because he's got a little mini game that he wants people to play, and I need to go and get a score. I don't think we're going to get a high score, but a score we will get. So I've got this 3D texture pack on. You guys might have noticed recently. Look at the sword. Isn't it great? I like the sword. And for the majority of it, I absolutely love it. But I've got to say, there's, there's a couple of textures, like the cobblestone and the torches, that I just, I do not agree with. Look, look at these torches. Look, look, at, look, at, look at that. What is that? It's the same with, like, the bucket. I'm not, I'm not sure about this. I'm not sure about this at all. But as uh, Forrest has asked, there is a village ahead. Make sure you do not have... Uh, bad omen when you get here. If you do, there's a bucket of milk because, you know, Boris is a good man who thinks ahead, who goes, ah, oh, players might get here and not be able to get in, so let's let's try and leave them something, as opposed to other people who are just like, no, don't come in, and then other people just like, well, what am I supposed to do? I'm walking anyway. Okay, looking pretty good, looking pretty good. Okay, I didn't get blinded. Sometimes when I come out, I think it must be at night time, I am absolutely blinded. But over here, we've got a thing, not the, not the direction back to spawn, even though that is pretty cool. Forrest has set up a whole bunch of things here, uh, like this little minecart race, this is really a two-player thing. Uh, but you're supposed to come along and try and hit the button at the right time to keep moving. I'm not going to do that because it's a little boring when you are on your own. Why is it raining in the desert? Hmm. Hmm. Mysteries. No, right here. Right right here is the edge. Uh, that's cool. Okay, we got the flame bow challenge. I'm going to move my bow out of the way. And I'm going to take this one here. Flame bow challenge. Try and hit all 11 targets in your score is the arrows used. Please return the bow after use. Uh, take a stack, but think of others. Where, where are the arrows? I, I actually don't actually don't have any arrows at the moment. So I know he's got a skelly spawner around somewhere. Oh, look, look, barrel back here. Ah, oh, he's a smart man. Have I ever said this before? Okay, I'm, I'm going to be... Um, oh, look, oh, look, oh, look. I'm going to be confident, and we're going to only take a single stack. Let's press this button, reset the button. You know what? That that is really clever. That is really clever. I um, I don't want to admit this live on on video, dude. But I'm gonna go ahead. Uh, that I didn't think this was uh, your forte. To be fair, I didn't think you could do that. Well done, man. I am impressed. Anyway, let's get on. <laughs> After belittling my friends on live on video, let's get on and do this. Okay, so I don't see any timer anywhere. So we're just gonna take our time and uh, see how this goes. Oh, instant fail on the first one. Uh, I'm wondering... Oh, look at this. Uh, oh, man. Okay, prediction. Uh, I'm told there's 11 fires. I reckon we're going to end up using at least 33 arrows, right? 
at least 33 arrows. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Those are all well lit. I, I'm kind of liking this game. I don't think I'm going to do particularly well at it. Not compared to other people's scores. I should have started far out. Look, I can't, I can't really see. I think that one's lit. It, it looks lit. Is there a zoom key on here? I'm fairly, I've got Optifine loaded. There should be a zoom key. Hold, hold on. Bam! Found it. Okay, there's a zoom key. Yeah. Oh man. Oh, that's. Oh, that's. That's hard. Oh, 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 that is floating. All right. Anyway, yes, I did hit that one over there. That's cool. Is that, is that like cheaty? Or a little bit further? I I don't know how many I used. We had three arrows in my inventory to start with, and then um, I've got 55 left. Oh, oh, I feel bad. I feel bad. Oh no. How is that not? How is that not? Okay, a little bit higher. Not much though. Okay, first, first shot there. That's good. Is this all? I uh, just spotted the other. Ah, oh, a little bit lower. A little bit lower still. Oh no! Oh no! This is the one. This is where I waste like 17 arrows just on the one. This this one's tough. Legitimately. Legitimately. Okay, and then over here. Oh no! Look, there's another one right there. I didn't see that. Okay, let's try. I mean, that's low. Let's try that. That's also low. Let's try that. That's also low. Let's try this. Oh, you're kidding, right? Uh, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need a moment to go and have a look. I'm going to need a moment to go have... Oh, wait, no, I can't. I can't do that without picking up the arrows. Um, ah, ah. All right, I'm going to fire one more. I've completely lost where my aim was at. All right, that one looks like it hit. I'm going to just accept that. And if it goes over there and we're wrong, then we'll know that we're wrong. Like, how is that not right? Wait, 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 wait. That is in... Oh, it's in the banner. It's in the banner. Okay, that's that one lit. I'm still not sure about that one over there. I'm still not sure. We're going to go see if we can tell from a distance. I'm going to get a different angle on it. Let's come around here. Ah, it's not lit, is it? Look, look. Not got... Oh. As the thunder rolls, let's... try. How is that not right? Come on, buddy. Really looks from this distance that we're getting it, but I mean, I'm definitely left there. All right, finally! Wow! 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 Let's press E. Let's get 25 arrows left. Oh gosh, that's uh, that's over a half a stack. Oh, I feel bad. Look at this clustering. Just look at the clustering. Oh, it's all so close. All so close. Oh, we're just going to those two. All right, Twitchy, 42. It's a new high score. Woo! What do you mean we're supposed to get... No, no, it's not like golf at all. New high score. Yeah, all right. Well, after I've absolutely nailed this and done as amazing as anybody will ever do, I think it's time we get to a little bit of nether pathing. Yeah, I've got a, uh, I've got a, a, new, a new project that I want to get on with, and let's go and find out where it is located. So you come out of forests. You find the spawn portal when you go up these stairs here. After erupting from a tunnel so long, you start to question the meaning of your existence. You head up that little slope over there behind me. And this is where it gets a little more complicated. There's the bridge that comes out of the nether tunnel, and you need to just kind of like come up here and head in a thusly direction. The problem is thusly is a very chaotic and a varied a landscape. Whilst I would like to just cut all the way across there, and I think maybe the path will end up doing so, the only way I can actually make it is to walk up and across and around all this lot and then go down over there. So we were stood on that plateau over there when I talked to you last, and I've got to say, the more I go through the nether, the more is going to be loaded behind me up to fight. Oh, yeah. Do I have my looting sword on me? I don't. Oh, man. I really need to get some more fire resistance potions. To Excuse me. Excuse me, trying to get involved in a fight you're not not belonging to. I mean, you've got to watch out for those pigmen. Got to watch. But yeah, we we need a, a, a magma slime farm. I have no idea how to make one specifically for magma farms. Maybe we can just make a small magma farm, uh, magma slime 
farm. Much in the same way that the creeper farm uses restricted spawning space, we could probably do the same for the small magma slimes. But yeah, anyway, we come around here, and then we come to this place where someone has been putting down a whole load of stairways. And that someone is obviously me. Uh, but I want to put uh, transform these two slopes. There's one slope here, and there's one on the other side. You can just see it starting to load in. I want to transform these into some, like, mega awesome um, nether stairways. I'm seeing um, nether warp brick. I'm seeing some stone brick. Um, maybe like dark outside with a stone brick core in the middle. Or maybe the other way around because everything around here is dark and it'd be great if we got some sort of um, contrast going. But yes, after all that walking, you come up and you find yourself a lonely little portal out here. I actually need to uh, throw a sign on it and label it. But if we come inside here, we can see something beautiful. Oh yeah, it's the swamp land. It's the beautiful swamp land. Uh, and then I think just... Uh, where, where do we put this? We put this a little removed from the item that I'm looking for. Man, that early morning sun is absolutely blinding. But over here we have a witch hut that we've been like marking up and making sure is in the right place this cat just i don't know it got stuck it doesn't know what to do i should have brought a bunch of uh fish with me and then we could have stolen it off of the witch there was a witch there she um she left of her own accord yeah there was definitely no persuasion or uh, oh sorry let me just get this out of my hand or any other means used to get rid of her so yeah, this is the target of the pathway I'm going to build. We're going to get that all together. And then this is going to be another project video because as I'm sure you're aware, preparing a witch hut, preparing the area around. Like we could make this the perfect witch spawning hut ever, right? Like put some platforms down. But witches are quite a rare spawn. Not to mention this is a small space compared to all the space loaded around you. And there's caves underground, right? And each of these caves is dark. And that normally means that the mobs want to spawn underneath, especially as the spawning algorithm works from the bottom of the world up. So it'll fill up the caves with bad guys before it ever gets up to here. So we need to make sure that doesn't happen. Uh, I'm in two minds about whether we're going to do some hardcore caving or whether we're going to get a TNT set of TNT dupers on the go and uh, blast the whole world out, make a nice little perimeter. We're probably going to actually end up doing a combination of the two. One stream layer and the vast majority of the block work has been done. You can see we've got this beautiful stairway coming down there and down here. And then we've got this sort of bridge structure over here, which is looking good. It's looking really good. Let's use Optifine to like zoom in here. You can see it's looking really, really fine. The problem is it's great big expanses of stone brick. And that wasn't quite what I was going for. But as I say, it is just first pass. And unfortunately, if people were not running Optifine, they're not going to be able to see as much as I can see here. The server, unfortunately, only runs on something like seven or eight chunk render distance. So whilst if you've got Optifine, you can walk around, load the chunks, and then whatever your computer is storing chunk-wise, uh, it will keep hold of them for you. Minecraft doesn't do that, but Optifine uh, does. So you can walk along the bridge and you can see everything going great. Now these towers, I think they're great. But they're looking a bit sort of medieval corner tower to a castle, right? It's not it's not quite the elegant but yet somehow imposing uh, tower structures that I was going for. But I know what's wrong. Look at this great big expanse of stone brick. We need to change that. Look at how this is stone brick. How it's all just a great big square thing. All these things need to change. And they can with the things that I've brought in my inventory. For you can see, I have been doing something on this little pathway over here. I've been mucking around with a few ideas. And you can see where on... Oh, no, I need, I need to get down on the, on the floor. If you will observe the side of the bridge over there, it is quite big. It is quite chunky. There's a line of blocks with a decoration block on top of it all the way along. Now, you can see the bottom of the bridge, and that's quite tasty. I like that dark poking out from the grey. So what I did was went ahead and did this sort of design here. Now, whilst it's on the floor... Not amazing, not brilliant, not not 100%. I feel like we could replace this line of netherrack here with something. I don't think stone brick. I think that would actually ruin the design, but it, it's something. So what I've been doing is I've been getting out my stone cutter. Let's go and uh, have a look. I, I should have left a little bit of this here somewhere. Let's, let's come around here. All right, beautiful. Okay, we'll go down to the bottom here. Uh, I've been coming along. I've been finding this line of blocks and taking it out, and then I'll go down and I'll take this line of blocks out. So the line of solid blocks, leaving nothing but the decoration up on top. Uh, do I have other blocks in my inventory? I don't. So I then clear out those blocks from my inventory. I go up to the stone cutter, 
totally totally wasn't uh, having trouble with that hill there up to the stone car and i'll make myself i don't know some stairs and a, a small handful of slabs and then we can come along and my main plan is to put slabs under the slabs which i know doesn't sound great but it does work trust me and then a stair underneath the uh the the wall there and it just it really works out well it's a nice design i think it's been working pretty well but there are some places where this is not going to work but it gives a, a very nice impression of what my average design is going to be so yeah i just need to go along and do this to all of these i don't think we're going to go for the you know wall gets one type of block and then the slab gets another type of block underneath i'm going to make all sorts of weird designs i also want to kind of like bring it underneath and then maybe have like the odd really spindly tower thing uh not tower what's a pylon pylon is the word i'm looking for uh the other problem that i've got is that tower the second tower along there uh not this one but that one you see how it just kind of stops and this is a very thin bit of netherrack i feel like i either want to build up the netherrack or take the tower down and i will decide on that and bring you back when i've done all these things Well, I'm putting materials away so you know what that means. I feel like I'm done. That was a lot of fire right there. So let's get out and have a look. We've done a lot of details on this bridge. Mostly, it kind of looks exactly the same. I've got to say, mostly, mostly. But we've gone, come through and got a whole bunch of details coming down here. I have gone and updated the tower design. I'm really loving the look of it. But let's first talk about these little pylons down here. Uh, I had the first original design kind of coming down all the way down to the bottom and of course this down here is lather death traps all round so it was all pretty good much fun to be going around and working on all of this now was it this one or was it the other one uh, okay i've gone and trapped myself that was good uh, fun but when they came all the way down i didn't really like the look of it if i'm to be honest with you i thought it was just a little bit too much brick going throughout the nether and uh, so I, I ripped back what I thought looked a little bit too much. And it turns out that this was kind of the minimum that I wanted to have. The, the maximum that I wanted to have, sorry. So I stuck a load of end rods on the underside. And actually, it worked out really well. Uh, another detail that I've got. You see this guy over here, this little pylon. It kind of goes into the uh, the lump of netherrack here. And it kind of looked a little bit weird having light, 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 no light. So I went around and put the, a few bits of fire down. It kind of just balanced out the whole look pretty well. These towers here, I didn't like the square blockiness of it. I uh, may have pointed these out to you beforehand. So I started building. The first thing I wanted to do was put an archway in the side. So I started doing that. And that, that still didn't look right with the windows above it because it was like arch and then straight into windows. Um, and as much as Mad Frank was like, this looks like skulls, and it kind of did look like skulls, I still didn't like it. Uh, so I ended up like removing these corners here and going for nether brick fence and nether brick wall. I was watching my boy B-dubs the other day, and he uh, reminded me that this is the only item, only building material you've got that will do the fence and the brick. So I decided to take advantage of that there. I kind of stopped it looking so square thought uh, made it pinch in a little bit. Uh, the reason I did that is if I didn't have this here, or if I had just the uh, the bricks, or even a gap, uh, when we got a little bit of a distance away, and, and even up close actually, more so up close than distant away, uh, it all kind of was just like a mess of grey and merged into one. Yeah, I didn't like it, so I put all these on here, and it's looking pretty good. Okay, I've shaped this little bit of netherrack here just to kind of give a little overhang to feel like it's not completely kind of suspended on its own. It's actually part of the landscape that we are in. And now this is the bit that was kind of the most awkward to work through. If you go back and look at the video, you see that bit of red of uh, netherrack over there and this bit of netherrack over here. It's actually had a little island, floating island going out and around. But by the time I got over there and looked back, it was blocking my view of this beautiful archway that I've got here. And uh, I wasn't about that. I wasn't about that. But we can come all all the way back here ow uh to have a look at my little archway it's just it's just half slabs it's it's really nice though i kind of uh, i started off with a uh, little bit of diagonal lines and the more i looked at them the more i was like no 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 we we need curvy shapes here uh and there's not actually that much connecting the bridge uh bridge road should we say the road the the surface way to the uh the handles the the handrails and stuff like that but there is enough there's just enough to kind of tie it all together and i suppose that was kind of my overarching thought process during all of this was just enough 
Because every time that I added more blocks, it ended up looking blocky. I know, funny, funny enough, in Minecraft it looks blocky. But it was just a little bit too much, a little bit too much. Not great. Bill, not a great deal has been done with over on that side, mainly because the shape of it is just too alluring as it is. Let's get back up on the bridge so I can show you guys. If I come stand over here, look at this. It kind of rolls down comes down like some sort of water flume and then rolls back out the bridge was necessary because there was a canyon there uh but i just kind of i liked the look of that on its own so i decided that i was going to leave it and then we have like the most most uh intense part of the build i suppose it will be uh on this stairway here now looking down from here you can't really see what's going on but underneath my feet here uh, is by far the most intense part of this project Bam, look at this. I love what I have done here. But it, now that I've put it down, I feel like there are like thousands of rooms for improvement. Like even ignoring this little weird bit here that I just couldn't do anything with. If I made it a solid block, it looked weird. If I did the stairs, it looked weird. No matter what I did, it looked weird. So this is the least weird option. Um, and this, this also, oh, I meant to bring a flint and steel with me. I didn't bring one. I meant to set some fires under there. Uh, these sort of, um, I don't know, fireplaces? These sort of, bottom of the pillars was kind of the best I could come up with. Anything that I could put down uh, looked a bit more sort of um, real world pylon bridge block support, which was not what I was going for. I wanted to have something uh, a bit more uh, ethereal, if you will. And I think I kind of summed it up quite well here. The, the, the pattern doesn't quite continue on at the top there, but if I didn't show you guys, I don't think you would have even noticed. Yeah, and as I say over here, we've got the final bridge. This is uh, nothing special over here. I kind of wish I'd actually shown you this before that, but this is looking pretty good. We've got a similar archway here. I'd meant to do an archway on the other side, but it doesn't look, looks like I haven't. Let's just imagine that that was there. But with that, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you next time where we're actually going to work on a creeper farm for a little bit because, man, we need that gunpowders. Uh, we're going to go out and find some other things that need doing. I need to make my shop on top of Wise's Tower. And, of course, there is another block here in the spawn area that I want to start building on and maybe get other people involved. But I will see you then when we're going to do all of that. Bye!